action. <laughs> okay, now we're going to hook up the right side motor, and when we're done with that, we'll have both motors hooked up. So you should already have this uh, hooked up, and for that we're going to need the partially assembled robot, these wires here, which are the short version of the blue, white, and orange, and these two ground wires, and you'll need your USB cable, and the fritzing diagram, and the Arduino IDE. So the fritzing diagram, uh, you can go to File, Open, and then go to your ChallengeBot repo and go into the build stages and uh, E both motors and then go to bothmotors.fzz. And I've already got it open, so that's this. Um, and you can use Control and the scroll wheel to zoom in and pan around and stuff. Um, and then the Arduino IDE, you'll go to File, Sketchbook, uh, E both motors, and that's this. Um, so now I'm going to start hooking up these wires and I'm going to start with these two ground wires right here. Uh, on this diagram, the extra things, um, the thing, the wires that we're adding are hooking up these motor wires. These three wires right here will go from the Arduino to this side of the, uh, motor controller. So on the physical robot, that's here and here. So the first thing is we're going to hook up the ground wires on lines 23 and 24 and hook them to the ground rail on the breadboard. So that was 23 to the ground rail and this is 24 to the ground rail. And we're doing these first because when we put in the other wires it will cover up this area and make it generally difficult to put these in. Um, so now I'm doing the orange wire, which the fritzing diagram says goes says that it goes from pin uh, 25 or five on the Arduino to pin or to line 21 on this side um, of the breadboard. And next we're going to do the blue wire, which is going to go from pin four on the Arduino to pin. Um, 26 on the motor controller and then the white will go from pin 3 on the Arduino to pin 27 on the motor controller and the last thing we'll need to do is hook up the actual motors wires so I'll hook these through just like last time poke, and then I'll grab it on this side, just like last time, and kind of shimmy it through, beating it through with one hand and pulling it through with the other hand. And then the fritzing diagram shows that the yellow wire will go to line 22. So I'll do that. And then the green line will go to line 25. And that looks like everything. So now I will hook up the USB cable and go to the Arduino IDE. And I will make sure that this is the only Arduino IDE open. Yep. Um, because if there's more than one open, they can fight with each other. So now I'm going to cl click on the uh, upload button and it's uploading. And when it's done, it says thank you. And so now over here, I'll prop this up and switch the power on and now I can see this one spinning this way and so is this one. So if I set it down, it'll start going. And that's it.